Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Bhavna Joshi and I will be taking the subject creating an inclusive school. So in this subject today we will be discussing about the another type of disability, the orthopedically and mentally challenged children. So this topic is in your unit 2 of creating an inclusive school, be it 218. So let's start with the locomotor disability or orthopedically challenged children. Locomotor disability uh, basically means restriction with the movement of limbs. If a child is not able to use uh, to move uh, his uh, legs. Uh, so uh, the term locomotor is derived from the Latin word, uh, which is loco. That means uh, from a place and motives, uh, which means causing motion. So locomotion means movement from one place to another. So locomotor disability basically means a problem in moving from one place to another. That means disability with respect to legs. But in general, it is taken as a disability related to bones, joints and muscles also. So there are various types of locomotor disability. The one is uh, imputation. That means removal of limb or part of it. Uh, due to any uh, accident or any unforeseen uh, situation. The second uh, type of locomotor disability is paralysis, which is a uh, uh, cause due to a um, large number of region, reasons. It could be uh, due to some accident or high uh, blood pressure also. Then uh, uh, the next one is cerebral palsy. Cerebral palsy is a uh, disabling uh, physical condition uh, which in which uh, muscle coordination is impaired due to damage in the uh, to the brain so it occurs at the time or uh, before a childbirth uh, so cerebral palsy is not progressive condition that means it does not get worse with the time it will be like it was at the time of birth then uh, there is muscular uh, muscular uh, diatherapy uh, muscular diatherapy is uh, a group of neuromuscular genetic disorder uh, that are caused, uh, that cause muscle weakness and overall loss of uh, muscle mass. It is, uh, this muscular diatherapy is a progressive condition, which means that as the time passes, it, uh, the condition will get more worst. The last type is dwarfism. It is a growth disorder characterized uh, by uh, shorter than average uh, body height. The, the, there is, um, uh, you know, this is a growth disorder that uh, uh, the body uh, height is not met. And uh, so these were the, these are the locomotor disability. Now coming to mentally challenged uh, children or uh, earlier it was called as mental retardation. So according to Persons with Disability uh, Act 1995, mental retardation has been uh, defined as a condition of uh, uh, arrested or incomplete development of mind of a person, which is specifically char uh, characterized by subnormal uh, normality of the intelligence. It basically, mental retardation is a condition in which uh, the development, there is um, incomplete development of mind. And uh, you can say that basically there is a subnormality. Uh, the intelligence is uh, not as per the age and growth. According to American Association on Mental Deficiency 1983, mental retardation refers to significantly sub-average uh, journal uh, intellectual functioning. Here, uh, the word uh, significant sub average, significant sub average uh, means that uh, the IQ of the person is uh, below 70. Journal um, intellectual uh, functioning uh, means that uh, after, um, after uh, administering normal uh, standardized journal intelligence test, the IQ of the uh, person is below 70, resulting in or associated with concurrent uh, impairment in adaptive behavior. Adaptive behavior means uh, the degree with which the individual meet the standard of personal independence uh, and social responsibility as per the child's age. 
so adaptive behavior here means that as per the age how much uh, the child is able to to what degree the child is able to meet the standard of uh, personal independence and social responsibility that is the adaptive behavior and manifested during the developmental year yeah here the developmental period means that uh, period of time between conception to 18th birthday 18th year of the child is the developmental uh, period here uh, we are when we are talking about mental retardation we are talking about the period uh, from the time of conception to the 18th year of the child so this is the definition of mental retardation and that means in short if i say mental retardation uh, means the child is having uh, below uh, 70 iq after properly uh, this iq has come after properly administering the uh, iq test on the children on the child uh, which is associated with a concurrent impairment in adaptive behavior that means as per the age of the child the child is um, to what extent the child is able to uh live independently do things independently and uh, um obey or follow the social uh, uh responsibility and uh, manifested during the we are talking about basically here we are uh, talking about the developmental period from the conception to the 18th birthday so this is the uh, definition given by american association on mental deficiency 1983 now uh because the a uh, mentally challenged uh, child is different is totally different from other impaired um, other children who are suffering from one or the other impairment so the um, basic uh, things which we expect from the children are, are, um, at different levels of their growth is also different in their, these children so during infancy and childhood we expect that the mentally challenged child is Uh, able to have sensory and motor skill development their communication skill they are able to communicate uh, what they are feeling or what they are experiencing which is again a very difficult task for them self help skills are taught to them they are able to uh, you know if they are able to eat or not they are able to uh, uh, change their clothes uh, basic self help basic uh, things um we expect them to do uh, during infancy or childhood which is again a challenge for these children during childhood and adolescent we expect that the application of basic academic skills to daily life activities they are able to uh, you know they are a, a, they are able to uh, know basic uh, academic skills and uh, uh, they are able to uh, perform daily life activities application of appropriate reasoning and judgment um is there in, and uh, they are able to master um, the application of appropriate reasoning and ju judgment in the mastery of the environment is there social skills they are able to learn social skills in the late adolescent uh, we uh, we try to uh, uh, make them responsible with respect to vocational and social responsibilities and performance so these are the few uh, milestones which we which we which as a teachers uh, we try that the man mentally challenged child is able to do now uh, the various the classification in mentally uh, retardation or mentally challenged child the first is mild retardation it is when the child is having an iq of 50 to 70 now this is the common uh, type of mental retardation and uh, um, among all the mental mentally retarded cases 85 to 90% of cases are in this category only uh, that is iq level 50 to 70 so this is the um, these individual have minimum retardation in uh, sensory motor areas may not be obvious in uh, very early childhood um, uh, the parents are not able to um, identify uh, their child as um, uh, suff as someone suffering from mild retardation until they go to school uh, there uh, it is difficult to identify uh, that the iq level is very low and in school uh, the these uh, children usually have very poor academic performance uh, difficult to uh, differentiate from learning disability or emotional and behavioral disorder 
so at the when they go to school uh, uh, it is a it is a challenging task for the teachers to know whether the child is suffering uh, basically suffering from mild retardation or having some learning disability or having some emotional or behavioral disorder they can learn reading and mathematical skills to level of a uh, 9 to 12 year child now uh, they learn uh, they know about self care they know about uh, practical skills to live their life independently they can live and earn for themselves also so this is the case with the mental mild retardation now the next is moderate retardation that is uh, from iq 35 to 50 now um, among the total uh, all the mental retarded cases about 10% of mental retarded come in this uh, group uh, this this category is um, is um, can be identified easily within one first year of the life they have problem with social uh, work social uh, socializing with people their behavioral age is 8 whereas their academic age is of second class uh, they will face difficulty in schools at home and in community also um, uh, they need special schools but they can still progress Uh, to become functioning members of the society as adults they may live with their parents um in a supportive group home that means they need some support throughout their life uh, moderate retardation now next is the severe retardation that is iq 20 to 35 severe mental retardation is often recognized in very early life uh, with poor motor development and uh, uh absent or markedly delayed speech and communication skills that means their motor skills is also poor and their speech and communication skills is uh, uh absent or delayed now the next category of prof is of profound retardation that is iq level is below 20 this group accounts for 1 to 2% of total mental retarded cases now in this uh, they need con constant uh, supervision uh, they uh, they have little or no speech uh, they are limited ability to, um, they have limited abilities to manage their self care they require higher level of supervision the behavioral age is 3 years and uh, they may learn some daily activities but uh, uh, will require full time caretaker they cannot uh, be left alone so these are the these are the <clears throat> few test through which uh, the mental retardation level and degree can be diagnosed uh, by the doctor now uh, there are various uh, causing causes of uh, mental retardation basically we can divide the causes into two parts that means uh, before uh, uh, birth and after birth before birth uh, that nine month duration it could be due to chromosomal abnormality also it could be uh, due to uh, some environmental factors um, um, uh, some unknown influences some diseases with which the uh, mother uh, or father is suffering from uh, it could be uh, due to intake of uh, uh, alcohol or smoking or drugs Uh, taken by uh, a mother uh, during that, that uh, nine month period that is the prenatal uh, factor now the after uh, the birth it could be uh, the mental retardation could be uh, due to brain damage due to ab due to any accident that may cause cause brain damage then there could be uh, environmental factor that may uh, like child abuse or neglect or uh, there could be uh, it could be due to um, any infection or any intoxicant which the child has taken like uh, lead poisoning or meningitis uh, fever so these are the few causes uh, causes of mental retardation now uh, signs and symptoms uh, when you see a child in the school like this 
uh, you may find uh, these uh, signs and symptoms. There will be failure to achieve developmental milestone, which we usually think that a specific age group will be able to do such such things. So there is uh, that failure. Then uh, deficiency in cognitive functioning is there. Very low IQ is there. Then failure to achieve intellectual developmental markers. Then reduce ability to learn and meet the academic demands. Uh, expressive and receptive language problem is there. Psychomotor skill deficient is there. Difficulty uh, in performing, um, low self-esteem, irritability when frustrated or upset. Um, there is depression. Moon swings is there. Persistent of infatal behavior is there. Then lack of curiosity is there. Next is what as a teacher you can do. Uh, you can uh, determine the child's strength, work on the child's strength and ability. Don't focus on the incapability, but focus on the, uh, on the child's strength and ability, what uh, the child can do, enhance it. Then monitor the child's developmental levels. Uh, be supportive, um, um, uh, try to give speech, language, or occupational skills um, therapy as much as possible. Uh, teach him or her about the natural and normal feelings and emotions. Provide uh, him or her with safety needs. Teach the child adaptive skills like uh, you know basic skills: eating, dressing, grooming, toileting. Um, try uh, the try to demonstrate and help them practice self care skills. Uh, work to increase his compliance with conventional social norms and behavior. Uh, telling them and teaching them social skills is very important. Maintain a constant and supervised environment. Uh, it is very important. A uh, supportive limit on activities should be provided. Work to maintain and enhance his positive feeling about self and daily accomplishment is very important. Uh, try to motivate and enhance a positive feeling in the child. If the child is able to perform some activity, daily life activity or some task, praise him or her, motivate her or him, him or her. Uh, monitor the child for uh, physical as well as emotional distress. Now, <clears throat> the, 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 we cannot do more for these children uh, as far as academics is concerned. But a few uh, educational facilities um, which we can provide is we can provide Montessori method, we can provide project method uh, given by John Dewey, we can provide playway method uh, that they are able to learn uh, via playway. Behavioral approach should be uh, um, used and individualized program plan should be used. That means the specific child with the specific uh, problem should have this this specific individualized program which should be which should focus on um, the child only on that specific child only so uh, i hope you all understood about the orthopedically uh, challenged and mentally challenged uh, children thank you very much